most of us have got used to immersing ourselves in music, at any time, and anywhere we go. iPod is the kind of invention that makes it possible. So you can imagine how frustrating it could be when it runs into a glitch like this. A recovery mode loop, which is ridiculous since it could happen when we update, restore, or simply reboot it. Fortunately, this is a common issue that could be easily fixed with the methods in this video. Let's jump in. No computer around, not a problem, you can try the force restart here. For iPod Touch, is press and hold the power and home button simultaneously, and release them when Apple logo reappears. Well, obviously we underestimated this glitch, the force restart doesn't beat it, let's move on to the next one, update iPod using iTunes. So once you launch it, connect your iPod into the computer, iTunes should recognize it instantly and suggest an update or restore. We have no intention whatsoever to lose any data, so let's go with the update. Then hit update again to confirm iTunes should be downloading the firmware now if there's not one exist already. Once done, you can proceed to update. If you have difficulty using iTunes, here is the ultimate weapon, repair iOS with Ryboot. I'll leave the link in the description below in case you want to download. So once installed, make sure your device is still connected and in recovery mode. Now go to the repair operating system section. It says the repair can fix the stuck on Apple logo issue without data loss, go ahead and hit fix now. Here you'll get the latest iOS 14 firmware for your device, hit download to continue. Once finished we can proceed to repair. Just make sure you are on a good network and keep the device plugged, then we are good to go. Well done, now you can see the iPod has got back to the home screen. That's it, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.